Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Study B. So here we are starting with our one of the new subject that is science for grade 1 Cambridge. So our first topic is being alive. The science is one of the most interesting topic and it's one of my favorite. Hope you guys will get along with me. So let's start. So first of all that is being alive. Animals and plants are alive. So I will say, do you know what are living and non-living things? So this topic is almost about that. Animals and plants are alive. Okay, for animals, already some people know that they are alive because they are some kind similar to human being. They are kind of us. They have a heart. They can breathe. They can eat. They can excrete. So what? How the plants are alive? This is a question like how you know the plants are alive and they are a living thing. Yes, if you are shocked that plants are living thing. So yes, it's correct. Plants are one of the living things on the earth. So first of all, we will going to be learning some new words. So our first new words our are living. L I V I N G living. So living is like we are living our life, like plants are living our their life, like the animals are living their life. So that's a living. Then comes plant. P L A N T plant. So everyone knows what is the plant, right? The second is animal, A-N-I-M-A-L. So animal is like cat, dog, horse, donkey. That is animal. Next is alive, A-L-I-V-E, -E, alive. So there is a bit of difference in alive and living. Living is like you are taking a breath and you are living. Alive means like you are either dead or alive. So the alive is the opposite of dead. Like one the thing is dead and the other thing is alive. So they are quite opposite. Alive means that the thing is alive. It's not dead. Then comes non-living. And O N non living L I V I N G non living so it is an opposite of living so if the one thing is living the other another thing is non living for example like your table chair cupboard your bed the another thing the another word is look look when you see from your eyes so the spellings are l o o k look so these are some new words you need to be remember so we let's practice one more time living plant animal alive non living look okay very good so let's move on to this chapter so this is very interesting chapter so first of all here are some questions can you see a living plant okay for now so many students think that the thing that is walking that is running that is eating that is sleeping is living so how can you see a plant living like we don't see a plant eating we don't see a plant moving we don't see a plant running so how we know that the plant is living that's a question so i will tell you very nice one thing when you take a seed you sow them in a soil and then after two three days it becomes a small plant small leaf 
and then after so many days it becomes a plan and then in days into months and months into years it become a very long tree so it means plant grows it doesn't move but it grows it was one seed and after so many months years or weeks it become a one huge plant so yes plant is a living thing and we can see a plant living how by its growth can you see a living animal yes all animals are living why because they walk because they talk because they eat because they sleep because they excrete these are all the characteristics of the living things can you see the things that have never been alive that have never been alive never means they were not alive at the start they were non-living they were dead what are that things all the things that don't grow that don't eat that don't sleep that don't walk that don't have feelings all their things are no never been alive and they are non-living things for example your chair have you ever seen your chair growing have you ever seen your chair walking no right so this is the non-living thing for example there is the sun is hot but it is not alive it is a non-living thing so one of the example is sun your sun never grows your sun never walks it never runs it never talk it never eat so sun is non-living but then you can say but the sunset and the sunrise is a movement yes it is a movement but it is the movement of our earth it is not the movement of the sun it is our earth thread that rotates around the axis of the sun understand so our sun is hot but it's not alive it's a non-living thing so how you differentiate between living and non-living things? Living things that can take a breath, that grow, that walk, that speak. Non-living things that cannot walk, cannot sleep, cannot eat. These are all non-living things. So here is very fun activity. You guys can do this at your home, at your school, at the park, everywhere you like. So what do you guys need to do? Go outside to look at the living things. Go outside and see the living things and write it down. Whatever living thing you say that is a living thing. Photograph or draw those finds. So you don't need to photogra photograph if you don't have a mobile. Just take a pencil and draw it. Whatever do you think is a living thing. Look for the largest living thing you can see. What is the largest living thing you can see? Just note it down. For example, for me right now, the largest living thing I can see is the tree that is outside my house. So that is the one of the largest living thing. Look for the smallest living thing you can find. So what is the smallest living thing you can find? For example, I can see an ant on my floor. It can walk, it can run, and it may be sleep, it grows also. So that is the smallest living thing I found out right now. So what is your activity? Go and find the living things. Number one, the long, largest living thing. Number two, the smallest living thing. So how many you need to find? At least six living things you need to find and note it down the paper and draw the picture. So talk about the photos with your friends. When you are done with it, so we will talk about it like is it a living thing or non-living thing or how you find out that this is the living thing and how you find out that this is a non-living thing. So here are examples of the living and non-living. Here is a fish. 
So you tell me, it is a living or non-living thing? Yes, correct. It is a living thing because fish grows, fish move, fish take a breath. Okay, then this is a chair. Is it a living thing or non-living thing? Non-living thing because the chair cannot walk, the chair cannot move by its own. The chair doesn't have uh, oxygen supply, it doesn't take a breath. The next is the car. Is it a living thing or non-living thing? Yes. So this is a non-living thing because the car cannot move, cannot talk. So this is a non-living thing. So what we have learned today is the living thing and the non-living thing. So in our environment, there are many, many non-living and living things. Some things are alive. Some things have never been alive. So living things that the things that are alive, non-living things, the things that are not alive, that have never been alive, like they were supposed to be not alive, that are non-living things. So we will make a category of living and non-living things. So at the end of the session, let's start with some questions. So, at your right side, there is a pillow. Is it a living thing or a not living thing? Yes, it's a non-living thing. Okay, at your left side, there is a plant. Is it a living thing or a non-living thing? Living thing. And if I say you have a flower, so a flower is a living thing or a non-living thing? It's a living thing. Why? Because flower grows on a plant and plant is a living thing. And then when the plant is a living thing, flower is a living thing. Flower also grows. It makes its own food. The flower eats like the plant eats. They get energy like we get energy. So plants are the living thing because they grow, because they take a breath, because they can be diet they can be dead but they are not dead until we take care of them they make their own food every non living thing cannot move by their own self and they cannot cook their own food okay so every living thing can walk can talk can eat and can grow okay and can have their own food but every non-living thing cannot walk, cannot eat, cannot make their food. Okay? I hope you like this video. Just like and subscribe and keep watching my channel for the more videos like this. Thank you.